Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice and welcome to our daily reading. Hope you're doing well. So this is going to be a look at the energy of the day whenever you come across the video or get you some guidance that you could use at this time. And as always, just keep in mind, take the messages as they resonate for you if they do and feel free to watch any other video on the channel that you feel drawn to. Ooh, the sun, that's nice. Something to look forward to. Truth, victory, clarity, getting what you want, renewed energy, renewed health. And that could be physical, could also be mental, emotional, financial health. Oh, nice, we'll take it. All right, so let's see what's going on for my subscribers. Daily energy and advice at the time they find this video. Here we go. And you have videos linked in the description box that I think you can find useful at the end of the videos. Lots of content for you guys to check out. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. We hope you like it here. We hope you come back. And thank you in advance for your likes and your shares and your comments and for subscribing. All right, Oracle Energy and Advice. And thank you again, everyone, for all the feedback that you're giving me on the monthly individual sign readings. Really appreciate it. And I'll, uh, I'll do them again <laughs> in November. All right. Let's begin. So first card representing the influence of the past on our current situation. What has happened before? What is happening as you're coming into the day or coming into the reading? We have the four of wands. Nice. And this is... A celebration energy it's reaching a milestone uh, some sort of achievement it could be a focus on the home focus on harmonious relationship this could be marriage dynamic um, housewarming party energy family getting together to celebrate something it could also be something um, like a social outing or an outing at work with work with your team um, it could talk about new job or promotion your work being acknowledged, your project being uh, successful and acknowledged, your business being acknowledged somehow. It's a very happy energy. In today's energy, we have the Four of Swords. Two fours, talking about stability, foundation, solid ground to build upon. We've seen the Four of Swords in our daily energy recently, talking about remember to take breaks, remember to breathe, Remember to take time out to pray, to meditate, to stay connected to your spiritual team or to stay connected to your faith or to stay connected to what's important to you um, and personal to you. So this could be where you have this achievement and then because you have this achievement, you can now afford to take a break, right? Uh, for those of you, this is some sort of happy family occasion that you take time off to attend, right? This could be taking time to decorate a new home, that sort of thing. Where things are headed for you, we have the moon. The moon can be a bit of an unknown, um, usually can trigger our hopes, but also most Typically, our fears, our doubts, our insecurities, because, like, I don't know what's in front of me. I don't know what I can trust. I don't know where this is going to go. So it looks like you have achieved some sort of milestone. You're taking a break. You're taking a rest. Or things are just going to settle down from now. Things are just going to calm down for you. If it's been up and down, it's going to be a bit more streamlined. If it's a bit unpredictable, it has been a bit unpredictable because you've reached this point in time or this milestone or this goal, um, things are going to get a little more structured, be a bit more reliable, a bit more predictable. Um, the moon can talk about cycles as well. So you're stepping into a new cycle and it is an unknown cycle because the four ones can also talk about promotion or elevation, meaning you may not have a lot of experience on this new level and this new place, right? If you're moving, this is like, well, I'm just gonna spend some time working on the house and putting things where they go. And then it's like, I have to step out and get to know my new surroundings, get to know my new neighbors, get to know my new community as an example, right? 
In the oracle, we have 26, the key, inner clarity, oh, sorry, inner calling, clarity, and intention. Definitely talking about learning new things, okay? New things, new ideas, meeting new people. Again, with the clarity energy and the sun energy. Um, could be something around an actual key. So again, being given a key to a home, to a car, to or an actual, to a safe, or I don't know. Uh, for those of you, the key is in the sense of a solution, the answer to your question, the solution, or you find the right path, you find the right place, you find the right person. That's the key to where everything now can settle down, and uh, you can start something new, and you can start something fresh, and you can step into this new world um, that is a bit, exciting and intimidating at the same time right with the moon energy this is your confirmation you can pray and meditate spend some time in nature um read research or be open to receiving spiritual messages with, with the four of swords because you will have the clear the clarity and the confirmation there's nothing to be worried about there's nothing to be concerned about you can trust this just keep putting one foot in front of the other there's also an energy here of don't think too far ahead into the future because you're going to freak yourself out um just put one foot in front of the other because you can see in front of you for that long you know that distance so just keep putting one foot in front of the other look around take it all in and go from there okay you might have been really rushing or really pushing to reach this milestone, if it's a meeting something, something or someone, if it's having a meeting, if it's having that negotiation, that interview, if it's getting that job, if it's getting that home, reaching the status in your business or in your relationship, whatever it is, it could be that you have been rushing and pushing to get there. And this is telling you, okay, that's done. Okay, the hustling is done. You got the hustling as in the hustle and bustle, not necessarily you were being deceitful. But um, you reached your goal. So from this point on, take a deep breath. And you may need to switch your approach, right? Where if it's something new, new territory for you, you're not going to be able to rush ahead because you don't know the ground. You don't know what you've got to work with. You don't know the resources available yet, right? So you're now switching from a phase of go, go, go to learning, observing, researching, taking things in. Later down the line, you will know enough to come up with your own vision, with your own plan, right? And then you'll go from there. But it's time to switch approach a little bit, right? To settle down, to breathe, to rest for a minute. As things are in between worlds, as you're in a bit of a transition, take the time to recover, take the time to rest, take the time to learn your new surroundings, okay? There's a time and a place for everything, and this is the time for that, okay? So let's see, choose your fortune cookie message. You can choose number one, number two, or number three. Or you can set the intention to receive messages from two of the cards or all of the cards. Just remember these could be quite literal. So interpret them as you see fit. Number one, number two, number three. At the bottom of the deck, we have opportunities. A stranger is about to change your life, exciting times, and plenty of action. Plus a, fam a special family reunion looks likely. So it's tying to the reading or we could talk about something different for you. If you chose number one, love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. That's your key. Number two, personal riches. Small successes are likely now for ones and bigger ones are on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get-rich schemes or get-rich-quick schemes. And if you chose number three, property. A property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transaction. And this could be for a home, this could be for a business. The personal affairs, you need to buy some land, buy some property, or change offices, or whatever it is, right? And security concerns could be online banking. Making, making sure everything goes through, making sure everything's secure. Um, there can be actual keys or uh, actual security, putting security in place. And that could be putting up a fence, right? 
or putting up an alarm system or learning about the alarm system, etc. Right? So that's pretty cool. So that's what I have for us today. Let me know how I resonate with the reading. If you do, check out other uh, videos on the channel. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.